Hi, I'm Dan, and I want to make a quick tutorial on how to configure a third-party MIDI effects plugin with the plugins in FL, native and third-party. The best way that I've found to do this is to use Patcher. So I'll load the instruments you, you're using into Patcher. Here I'm using transistor bass. Um, and I wanted to use the ARP with it, but the ARP doesn't, um, it, FL's ARP anyway, doesn't really have a BPM syncing option that I've found, so it's hard to get it to sync with the host um, tempo. So, and this isn't just for uh, I didn't, this is just being, you, I'm just using transistor bass as an example, but it has a sequencer, which is actually similar to an arpeggiator, but I have, um, you can do different things a little bit easier with it. So anyway, with uh, the, the third party MIDI effects that I'm using is Cthulhu, and it, um, make, you have to, realize that a, a MIDI effects plugin does not send sound data unless it's got a special option to do so, which it looks like this one does. But I'm, I'm just using this plugin for manipulation of MIDI data. And so I thought that I would show you real quick. And you throw it in the patcher. I'm sure those of you that use FL know how to do that. And make sure... Uh, you see here it does have a audio linking ability, but you don't need to use that because you're just, in this case, I'm just demonstrating it being used as an arpeggiator to manipulate MIDI data to the plugin that you want to use. So then you uh, attach the event node to the uh, output to the event node on the plugin that you'd like to hook the ARP to. You double click on any third party um, MIDI effects this will apply to. And the stipulation is that you have to you can you can use zero too. But you know <clears throat> this is the default. Nothing. It doesn't do anything. So you just gotta tell it to output something you get basically you're assigning an output and until you do that it won't do anything so you can go zero through you know i don't know how high it goes 255 <laughs> whatever you want to use so that's all you have to do is you just have to assign the output port on uh, cthulhu or any other midi arpeggiator or effect midi effects plugin in patcher that, that's simply all you have to do so for those of you that are a little unclear because i had trouble learning midi stuff in the beginning um what i will do is delete this and i will show you from from the beginning i make sure that i don't have anything that's not supposed to be here okay all, all right so grab a patcher throw it in your channel rack it opens up, it's really great. And uh, grab, you know, let's use a different synth in this case, just to show you that it'll work. There's a citrus, but disconnect that event node because you're gonna put in a MIDI effects. You know, that's the whole reason for this tutorial. And I have it under controllers. There it is here. Now, for some reason it wants to put an audio out, I don't, you know, not using it for any audio, it's just MIDI and event out. Pushing a key, nothing's happening. Double click. I don't know why the default is at 200% zoom. Go to settings and MIDI, and all you gotta do is select output port at least zero through 255. <laughs> And there you go. That that's all you have to do to link it. And 
anyway, it's amazingly simple. And I, I sat around for half an hour trying to figure out stuff and and I watched some other tutorials and people were like, well, you know, you can do this and this, you can download this program for this and blah, blah, blah. And maybe it had to apply to older versions of FL, I'm not sure, but in the, in, with the newest FL here, 12.4.2, um, use Patcher and throw your plugins in Patcher and select output port zero through 255. And you get your, you get, you get your stuff and you, and then away you go using using your uh, arpeggiator. So, oh, and for those of you that don't know, if if you're newer to FL, it, I can't get you can't get into it with inside Patcher. But if you open up on a, 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 one of the native synths or actually any other any plugin VST that you got that you're using to make produce sounds with you can go to you know you go to your uh, settings window on your fruity wrapper and you know there's an arpeggiator here and so you're like what why, why do you have to have a another arpeggiator for like you know what well, it's got one and the, well, the, what it doesn't have and the whole reason that i got another arpeggiator is there's no way to sync the beats per minute with the host beats per minute and so you use this timing and you just, you, I've sat there and fussed with it and moved it just a little bit, and I just can't quite get it to line line in sync with with the beat. And it's it it just doesn't. It's hard to use like that. So I just spent forty bucks on Cthulhu, and and now I've got a really you know neat plugin that's gonna do anything that the the native one can do plus everything else that I need it to do. So anyway, appreciate you watching through my tutorial. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, hope this helped. And I think that's about it. So um, appreciate your time and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.